Hey, we're on. Okay, my name is Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I am working on a personal request and I'm kind of giving the frame a little chippy look. And I wanted to show you how I was doing it. I should have started right away or before I first started painting. Um, working on a coordinate sign. It's all, the frame's all painted black. And um, the customer wants a chippy look and the way I do it is a little bit different. I left one side blank. Um, I've got everything painted black and then I um, sealed the frame. The sign's already sealed. And then um, I go over it kind of like a hot mess and just randomly add paint to it. And then as soon as this paint's dry, I'll use a lint-free cloth to wet distress it. So I'll see if you guys can see this. So I'm just like going along the edges randomly. You can go as thick as you want. Just be careful not to get the actual sign. If you do, use your wet rag and clean it up as soon as you can because this paint, Dixie Belle is a great paint, but it's got a sealer in it. And if you wait too long, it'll be hard to clean. This is kind of a fun way to, to get the chippy look. Whoop, I'm dripping paint. I have got a craft planned for, I'm gonna do on my main page. I just don't know when I'll be doing it. It'll be tomorrow or this weekend. So stay tuned, but it will be on the main page. So there you go. See how, how that's kind of haphazardly covered? Now, these other three sides are pretty much dry and I've got my lint free cloth. I use the uh, diaper towel, the diaper towels, the cloth diapers. So basically, I'm just going to rub back some of the areas, especially on the corners where the paint would have worn. Boy, it's hard getting this on camera. might have to find a clean area on the rag once you get some paint on there. There we go. I would say when you do something like this, don't wait until the next day to wet distress it. So with Dixie Belle with the sealer in it, it'll be kind of hard to wipe it down. I'm also gathering supplies because there's a class I want to do for spring, a craft class. So I'm getting everything rounded up and if it works out, I've got the, I got it visioned in my head. So if it works out, then I'll uh, make sure and let you guys know. But there will only be like maybe 10 or 15 kits available because I'm not quite sure how well this will go over. And we're just basically rubbing along the edges where they're where it kind of naturally wear with time and age. If you want, get a new side of the towel. 
you want to get more of that color showing through because as you're wiping it down you'll kind of have that top color kind of covering it a little bit if that's the look you want that's okay I think actually I might be going over that one again a little bit too wiped down whatever look you want. And it takes a little bit of elbow grease. So that's basically it right there. So if I could, I'd send the customer a picture to see if she approves or if she wants more white or more distressing removed. But this one I can't. So if she doesn't like it, when she gets it, she'll have to let me know. Let me show you the uh, molds and how I taped them down to dry them. Hang on a second. Excuse my mess. The mold Daniela made for my Hobby Lobby sign. I still have to paint them, and I wanted to do that uh, after they cure. So I taped them down so that way the edges don't pop up when they dry and warp. And so I'm gonna paint them black. And if you'd like for me to come back on and actually show you how I'm gonna do that, let me know, because I can most certainly do that. But I just have one more customer request to work on before I can get back to this before next week. So I think that's it. So, you guys, I hope you are having a great week, and I hope you're having better weather than we are. So, you guys have a great day. Bye.